It's been said that there's a fine line between genius and madness, and some of these creations definitely fit the bill. I'm Reacher, and today we're bringing you 15 more of our favorite crazy campers. Number 15. This mini version of an RV was designed with practicality in mind. It provides all the conveniences of a larger RV, but at 6 feet wide and 21 feet long, it's still small enough to fit in your average garage. The Vixen was smoother than most of its competitors on the market, with its folding windows and hinged roof that provided over 6 feet of headroom. Three different models were offered between 1986 and 1989, but only 587 of the vehicles were actually produced. Number 14. This next entry on the list may look like a cartoon fire engine on steroids, but it's what's inside that counts. The interior has all the creature comforts in the right places. A kitchen with dual refrigerators, a queen-size loft bed, and a full-size bathroom with a shower. It measures in at 8 feet wide by 21 feet long and comes in your choice of six color schemes. Number 13. The Sham Rockaway is a homemade RV in which two 1962 Buicks gave their life to create. It's built on the base of both of the cars, with one of the cars chopped in half and the two pieces attached to the respective ends of the other car, while the top is supported by metal beams to give it the yacht-like shape. There isn't much about this vehicle on the internet, let alone any photos of the interior, so it remains a bit of a mystery. Number 12. Dubbed the fastest camper car in the world at the time, the Citroen CX Penthouse is a lengthened version of the Citroen CXI car. Though it doesn't quite resemble a luxury suite at a swanky hotel, the Penthouse has a fully insulated rear compartment, complete with a toilet and living area. It has the distinction of having two doors on the right side and only one on the left, as well as an electrical folding roof. Number 11. The 80s was the period for transforming passenger cars into campers, and with this next one, it's no different. Bischoffberger built many models, converting Audi C2s and C3s. For the next caddy campers, the Audi's rear axle was built into the converted bigger cars, such as the Audi 200 Type 43 and 44. Number 10. Back in the day, if you had the problem of wanting to go on vacation and pull both a trailer and a boat, the 1968 Corvair Ultravan might have been the solution to all your problems. Aircraft designer Dave Peterson built this one to make his dream of a motorhome powerful enough to pull a boat come true. One year after the Corvair was released, Peterson set out on adapting one of the first Ultras, going on to build at least 15 early Ultravans. The van's rounded edges and white paint with a mustard yellow stripe are definitely reminiscent of the time it was made. Number 9 This next one looks like something you'd see if you were teleported to the future. The space capsule looking camper would look at home among the stars and just happen to be built a year before man landed on the moon. Starting out as the dream of avant-garde designer Anthony Pisteria, the Marumba Mini Star was, sadly, too ahead of its time, and only a few were made. Sporting an unusual oblong shape, the camper can sleep up to four people, with enough space for a kitchen with a fridge and a stove. The very first brochure for this futuristic vehicle marveled at its 800-pound weight, despite the fact that it's made up of 35 miles of continuous fiberglass. Number 8 This Japanese camper may look like someone has stuck a poorly designed house on the back of a truck, but you won't believe how creative it actually is. The two-story mobile home measures just 15 feet in length, but still has room for a spacious kitchen and bathroom on the lower floor, as well as a fold-out deck offering 21 and a half square feet of usable space. The upper floor, which raises on air cylinders, houses the sleeping area. Number 7 Want to go on vacation but don't want to leave your swimming pool behind? No problem. The executive flagship boasted the biggest trailer in the world at the time of its invention. Not only did it have a portable pool, it also had a helicopter pad on the roof. 
This motorhome was nothing short of luxurious at the time with a price tag of $75,000. Number 6. This next entry is another futuristic looking camper to add to the list. The all aluminum Bolus Road Chief looks like a huge silver bullet. It has a low center of gravity, efficient interior space, and a lightweight design sharing similar features with the iconic Airstream trailer. And while Airstreams became a household name, only 80 of these were ever built in the mid-1930s. Fast forward 80 years and we now have a newer, longer version paying homage to the original. Number 5 This off-road confident RV is not your standard camper. The Revcon Trailblazer was the first of its kind when it hit the market in 1992. The 32-foot-long 4x4 is all-terrain, all-season, and comes equipped with a fully insulated interior fiberglass shell with a white outer shell built from aircraft-grade aluminum. The 1994 model is built on a Ford F530 chassis with an extra set of wheels on a tag axle to handle the added weight. Number 4 It's not every day you come across a vintage camper van with corrugated bodywork. This beloved classic is agelessly cool with its boxy nose and standalone headlamps. The Type H camper van was built between 1947 and 1981 and is now being reproduced for the 70th anniversary but with a modern twist. Fiberglass body panel kits allow you to transform a modern van into a retro looking H van and still retain all the features of a new vehicle. Number 3 the Peacemaker Bus is the ultimate hippie machine. It was built and remodeled by a family who turned it into an amazing RV with all of its interior handmade. This vehicle is made of two buses merged together, a GM motor coach and an aero coach giving it an unusual caterpillar-like design. Number 2 Just when you thought we were done with the bizarre looking camper vans, this one popped up. And of the many crazy campers on the list, this one possibly tops them all. The Coaster Trimmer Van is a one-off that was built in 1982 by a British couple. Although it does have a compact design, the hard edges do leave something to be desired. Number 1 This odd little bug of a motorhome was the first Airstream that was not pulled by another vehicle. Measuring in at 20 feet long, the Argosi hit the market in 1974, but was discontinued in 1979. Even though you can't get one of these brand new, there are a ton of restored models up for sale. While some of these crazy campers are a great success, and others are just one-off custom builds, there seems to be something for everyone. Would you want to make your very own motorhome? Would you own one of the vehicles from this list? Be sure and let us know in the comments. This episode of Mind's Eye Design is brought to you by Zetylus Stinger, an emergency escape tool that can save your life with a sharp razor to cut your seatbelt, a two-stage spring-loaded window punch, and can even be used a phone charger in your car. For more information on this product, the link is in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.